Hello, thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a review on the Lenovo ThinkPad E420. Um, this is Subifly, and I will be doing your IT tech review. Um, so, here is the laptop that uh, I'm doing a review on. Uh, a great little system. And again, this is a 14 inch um, uh, ThinkPad E4, E420. Sorry. And I'm just going to go and take a look, a uh, quick. A, uh, look around on the way the laptop looks. First of all, I want to let you know that the, it does have a feel of the rubberized of a ThinkPad, what uh, what they're well known as. Um, so it's really nice to just to hold on to it. It's just it's it's a little different um, compared to the normal um, the normal ThinkPad. It's not quite the same as the you know the X series, the T series, etc. So let's go and take a look a quick around. This is going to be your vent. Here's your VGA connection. Here comes uh, your two USB uh, dual port or dual uh, ESETA and USB. HDMI for display. Um, this is also your mic and headset plug-in. Your SD card reader. And coming around at the front, there's not much, but it is your speaker grill. Okay, that's where your sounds comes off. Um, I didn't really quite like the way they're doing with their speakers now with the ThinkPads is that they're coming at the bottom so it's supposed to be going towards your ear um, which is a, I think it's a better design but it's got to be a reason why they did this um, you know so one way to fit it I don't know um, here's the yellow USB that indicates that you can actually charge and um, a, a USB device even the device is turned off okay here is your um, express card you see Express card and your multi drive, your power, Kensington, and your Ethernet. And I wanted to talk about the bottom part of this laptop. One cool thing about this is that the fact that it has one plate for you to access um, your uh, memory upgrade, hard drive upgrade, um, you can actually access your wireless card here as well. So again, they make it pretty simple for you, um, and I think it has an M SATA slot too. So for those of you who are thinking about, you know, the NAND flash SSD, um, you can do it with this and keep your hard drive in in there, so you can get used as storage, because um, SSDs, SSDs are pretty pricey. In any case, um, one thing I did notice when you typically when you look at a, a ThinkPad at the bottom is that you see water vents so I think I believe this particular model don't have the spill resistant keyboard which you know uh, owning a ThinkPad you'd think there would come one but this one doesn't so and here's the battery this is just your normal six cell okay let's go ahead and take a look and open it up First of all, I wanted to um, talk about the the keyboard and the way it's laid out, um, and the feel of the keyboard. It's springy. It, it, it does have a feel. It, it feels good when you're typing on it. Um, another thing too is that it has the same um, response that you normally feel on a ThinkPad like the X320. If you're um, looking into that or the the T series, you know, um, the, you know the R61s. If it's, it's not quite the same, but they try to make it really close. It says this is a chiclet keyboard. Um, let's see. And, and oh, oh, one thing too is that um, if you look at the function keys, it's no longer your function keys. It's, these are actually your shortcuts for your 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 sound, your mic, you know, um, additional display, uh, your wireless. So it's a little bit different for you to access your function. You actually have to press the function key right here, function, and then in one of the F keys. Okay. Um, again, it's a nice feel, um, not too bad. Okay. And moving on, um, it's pretty sturdy um, design, pretty solid, just what you um, expect from a ThinkPad. And you get your fingerprint reader um, right here, and we actually turn this on laptop this red light actually lights on so 
again, it's, it is the E series or the Edge series of ThinkPads. Um, a very spacious mouse pad. Um, it, it, so it's easy to navigate and, ha and not having to work in a smaller mouse pad where you have to jump back and forth. Um, and of course, your razor head. I call them a razor head. Um, if you ever owned a ThinkPad before, you tend to use this a lot more because that's where your fingers sit, access to here, and instead of going all the way down here. One thing I don't like about this um, uh, overall layout is that one thing is they, they seem built like it, they're built um, not it doesn't look very cheap. Okay, even though it looks dull and just plain, but uh, pretty sturdy. One thing that does feel cheap is the uh, click left click and right click on the mouse pad. It's it, it's so smushy, and 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 it feels a little very weird, and and it feels really cheap as if you, it will come out. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the E420, the one I picked up, is the Intel Core i3. Now you can go up to Intel Core i5, um, and I, uh, this is the Windows 7 Professional, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabytes of hard drive, and I believe it's a 7200 RPM. So it's a speedy laptop. Okay, it's very, very, it's it's speedy. Uh, you know, for for what I got this for, for $600 that's a good deal I'm not gonna complain to that especially if you're in a budget and it's gonna be your first ThinkPad if you're thinking about ThinkPad based on what you hear um, this is a good starting point for six hundred dollars you get a lot for your money not the best not the best technology and not the best or fastest anything like that but for six hundred dollars with a good build and what Lenovo puts out there as far as um, you know the security tools your fingerprint reader you also have a webcam Let's see the webcam here. Let me put it sideways, right there. Okay, the webcam. Um, you can. They have a tool, a Lenovo tool, is and that tool is the fact that um, if you ever step away, okay, it, and it doesn't see your face, what that does then is lock your your computer, just like you normally do with the Control Alt Delete Enter. It locks your computer. Um, and, and as in IT, if you're an IT manager, this is a good laptop to deploy and easy to deploy for security reasons. Um, they're sturdy, they're well built, inexpensive, at $600. I got this for $605 to be exact. Um, great, it's a great laptop if you're looking at, instead of going through Dell because they're very cheaply made, um, you know, I would, I would go, uh, at least the ones that that uh, I've experienced it, it feels cheap and I'll give you an example on that pretty soon here as a comparison so as far as the tools go um, I'm just sure so you can see that very well but all the security tools you can use um, uh, power controls airbag protection which is any movement to the hard drive um, it will try and there it is try and uh, uh, stop the hard drive from spinning to prevent from damage. Um, it's supposed to do a reading optimization, um, fingerprint reader, um, and, and things like that. And video conferencing, where it does a, uh, when you're typing, it does a noise cancellation on your uh, keyboard. So, again, it, it, if, again, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but for 500 gigs, four gig of memory or RAM, uh, Intel Core i3 Sandy Bridge. Um, Windows 7 Professional, fingerprint reader, etc. Six hundred dollars. I mean, it's no brainer for an IT. Most most laptops out there, the ITs get typically around about seven hundred dollars, seven you know eight hundred dollars, maybe more of what uh, um, I I normally tend to get as far as pricing goes. Um, so ooh, here it is. I'm gonna shut this down. I want to compare to you, show you um, the way the uh, LCD is, is is built. It's pretty solid. Okay, um, let me show you an example. Oh yeah, put them side by side with a with the X220. It's a smaller. Okay, doesn't have that. Doesn't give that much weight, so it doesn't really bend the screen. As well as that one, and that's built well built. I'm not complaining that. Here's here's an example. 
over Dill. Look at the screen. It just bends. Um, it looks very solid. It looks like there's it's, it's like made out of metal, but it's not. It just still feels like plastic. And don't even let me talk about that one because that's full of. I, I'll do a review on that one in a second, uh, another video and since I just got that. Um, so here is your review and at least walkthrough overall uh, as far as uh, the Lenovo ThinkPad E420. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write it down at the bottom and comment. Any comments or concerns or questions, I'll try to answer and, and, and address that. Again, this is Subifly doing the IT Tech Review. And thanks for watching.